Thanks, Simon. Now, this week's Ask an Expert question comes from John Frisinus, and John wants to know, I've always driven a manual, but now I see a lot of diesel four-wheel drives coming out as autos. What are the advantages between autos and manuals, and why? Now, let's catch up with Mark Oliver from Black Widow to find out more. These days, with modern automatic transmissions, you can almost drive them as if it was a manual. It's also a matter of convenience and comfort. And an automatic transmission to me means ease, simplicity, and power at your foot whenever you need it. For example, when you head up to a sand dune or say you go on to tackle Big Red. I've done that in both manual and automatic, and I haven't really had a lot of issues with either. When we're doing Big Red, for example, low range second, by the time I get to the top, I'm revved up, I've got to get it into third. Now you've got to be really quick to get into third or you're gonna go down. A lot of people that have tried that have failed to do it. But with an automatic, you have a constant drivetrain, you have constant power, so it is a lot easier with an automatic. To me, manual is a different way to do things. It's a bit of a personal taste. It's got its benefits where it's got direct power to your foot and you've got a lot more control with your clutch and everything. For example, I prefer it when I'm rock crawling and things to the big V8 automatics. I find I've just got that little bit more control, a little bit more torque down the bottom. Once again, it's a matter of comfort and ease and what you're happy with. Most situations around where we're going to go in our four-wheel drive adventures around Australia, an automatic's going to be a great thing. You're towing a camper, towing a caravan, or you've got a rooftop tent on top, so you can cruise into all these places like the Bungles and into the Kimberleys with consummate ease. But when you get out into the more rocky areas and the washaway areas, I believe that a manual gives you, well, gives me anyway, a touch more control. So. Really, personal choice again, they both work really well. Before you go ahead and buy a four-wheel drive, I would really consider the options of automatic and manual. As I said earlier, most of the time, automatic is gonna be the way to go, giving you comfort and reliability. But before you buy a four-wheel drive, do consider your usage of the four-wheel drive. If you're gonna do a lot of difficult, hard, talky type stuff, you may consider an automatic, but look, these days with modern automatics, I honestly think if I had a choice and had one cart, that's the way I'd go because they're just so easy.